Welcome to Sparks Live, live right now. Uh, I'm Andy Peters. Thank you so much for joining us. This is our second one. Uh, and if you are a Marxist, thank you, April. If you're a Marks and Spencer customer and you've got a Sparks card, uh, you're welcome. Thank you for clicking and joining us. I'm joined, of course, here at MNS HQ by, well, I'll go with, well, ladies first. The lovely April is here. Uh, April, tell me your job title again because it's rather glamorous. I am Head of Product Development. Head no, of... No, I'm Director of Product oh, Development. Oh, I've upgrade. <laughs> You went back two jobs. Uh, yes, <laughs> Director of Product Development, which means, in essence, that you have tried every single item I have. that we go into the shop and buy. You have tried that item and made sure it's right for us, the I customers, have. which is fantastic. Also here in the kitchen uh, is the fantastic Marks & Spencer chef, chef extraordinaire, Chris Baber. Chris, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Andy. I'm glad you got the memo about just yeah. wearing a blue, blue navy. navy polo shirt. Uh, you're going to be cooking for us, obviously. I'm going to be doing two healthy eat well dishes tonight, all from the Eatwell range, all the products, loads of flavour, healthy food, is delicious. And as we always say, Baber flavour. Uh, and we're also joined uh, by Dr. Rupi. Dr. Rupi, uh, good evening to you. Hello. How Hi. are you? Hi. Like, we're very well. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you guys too. It's a pleasure to be there virtually, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Now, none of us here are doctors, uh, but this really is the season uh, to try and change our eating habits, isn't it? Brand new year, brand new us. Absolutely. And that's what tonight for me is all about, encouraging people to get in their kitchens and think about more plants, more colour, more variety, and obviously some delicious dishes that Chris is going to make for us. And one of the things you talk about always is let's eat our vitamins through food rather than just taking a vitamin supplement. That's right? I'm a very big fan of that, exactly, Andy. And, um, you know, eating your vitamins through food is really about having an abundance of different micronutrients and phytonutrients. These are the chemicals that we find in foods. When you take a, a supplemental pill, you're just getting one element of food in high dose. Whereas when you're having something like, I don't know, a delicious tender stem broccoli or a tomato, you're getting a multitude of different chemicals in that. So not only are you getting vitamin C, but you're getting lycopene, you're getting fibers. These are the things that actually lead to so many different health benefits. And that's what we want to concentrate our eating around. So eating your vitamins rather than relying on pills. You can't out supplement a bad diet and enjoy your food as well. Okay, Dr. Rupi, stay where you are in your kitchen. Look at all that fresh produce. And he talks, you know, one of the things he always talks about is colour. Look at all the colour that's right in front of him. We've got I mean, to repeat here. Yeah, though, absolutely. I mean, yeah. yeah, stay where you are, Dr. Rupi. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we would love to give you the opportunity to win an amazing prize. £250 to spend on M&S food. You can buy underwear if you want. It's a voucher. You can spend <laughs> it on what you like. Uh, but it's a £250 voucher. I'd love for you to enter our draw. Uh, if you'd like to get involved, all you've got to do is go online. The details are all there. You need to email us with your name and your county. Uh, it says and answer, but you don't need to really give it. Well, you've got to tell us. We'd love you to tell us. Share with us what your favourite Eat Well product is. What Eat Well product are you most excited about and why? All you've got to do is email us by half past seven today. One entry per person. Sparks live at marksandspencer.com. We'll leave that up there for a second so you can grab a pen or grab your iPhone or iPad or whichever device you want to use. Sparks live at marksandspencer.com. As I said, the lines of the entries close at half past seven tonight, so you must have entered by then. And also, you can use that address if you'd like to put a question uh, to anybody. If you want to talk to Dr. Rupi, if you want to talk to April, if you've got something you want to talk to April about, or maybe you've even got something you want to ask Chef Chris about Baber flavour. Uh, I've got nothing to say. So ask these three questions. I'm just going to mediate. Uh, you could ask me where I got this top, but the answer's really simple. Marks and Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Rupi. Yeah, exactly. He, he knows. He knows where it comes from. I'm across it. I'm across it. I'm yeah. with you. Good man. Good man. Right. So, yeah, uh, let me remind you that. Mark, um, so, Sparks Live at marksandspencer.com. That's where you need to go to. We would love to hear from you. And also, let us know which one of these eat well. I mean, look, look at all the eat well products you can see in store at the moment. There are so many of them. Maybe this is a little There's reminder a little, for you. Some, yeah. So these are some of the ones we're going to be looking at tonight. You can choose from any of these or one that you're familiar with already, that you're buying already. So please tell us which one you love and why. OK, can I tell you my favourite just at the moment? Yes. And I had one today. I had the uh, mushroom miso yep. little pot thing. Oh, my life. 
If you love mushrooms, that's the one for you. We've actually got you the butternut squash and lentil one tonight to taste as well, oh, which is I my favourite. Yeah, I avoided that one. I didn't want that one. Oh, no, well, you're going to have to taste it tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dr. Ruby's like, did he really just say that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> he was I, like this last time. Yeah, I like Ruby, the chicken I'm and easy. edamame one. Is that the chicken and, with peanut butter? The they're one? all brilliant. I love no, that one too. They're all brilliant, I know. But there, there is one which has got chicken. It's yes, got chicken it's and peanut edamame. butter. Yes, exactly. Oh, that one is another favourite. Have you got a favourite Eat Well product, Dr. Rupi? I love the honesty, first of all, uh, owning up to maybe not like. <laughs> I, I am liking the look of the roasted butternut. I haven't That's tried this yet. I've been saving it for you guys. But looking at the ingredients, turmeric, cayenne, pepper, hummus, I'm a big fan of black lentils. This, I think, is going to be a winner for me. Okay, Brilliant. fair enough. And the Buddha bowl, what's a Buddha bowl? Well, a Buddha bowl, Andy, yes. is it's a vegetarian dish, yeah. all served in one bowl, clues in the title. <laughs> and <laughs> it's basically made up of lots of healthy ingredients, but they're served separately, lots of bright colours. So you can either mix it all together yeah. or you can eat, pick at each one individually, but every single one of them's packed full of nutrients and you're getting your five a day. Love but that. we're going to be tasting that later. Oh, are we? Yes. Lovely. Good. Yes. Uh, Chris, finally. From the Eat Well range, what would you go for from, the, from what you saw there? Well, I'm really looking forward to trying the Bang Bang Chicken. That's something, there's a few restaurants in London that do it really well. I'm missing that. I can't wait, April, to see what you've come up with here. Right, we'll be tasting that one later too. Okay, no pressure. No pressure. And that you do realise by doing these Sparks events that we're doing monthly now, that people will recognise you and will stop you and say, sorry, April, I want to know why. You do realise that's going to happen. Well, actually, I'd really, really love customers to stop me and give me their thoughts. And, you know, as we said last time, I'm open all the ears to any ideas. So, again, as we said last time, actually, yep. if you've got any ideas that you want us to look <coughs> at producing, pop them into the chat and we'll have a go at them. Like that? I have actually suggested an item. I said this last We're time. We're not talking about this on no, the No, I know, evening. but I'm not going to... I can't let it go. Next... <laughs> Because you haven't told me when it's going to be launched, but we're thinking Christmas. Are we well, thinking... it'll be before Christmas. To see Probably if it works. To... No, 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 just because people get in the Christmas spirit early. Yeah. But it's not one to talk about on a healthy evening. Okay, but will my face be on the packaging? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that's yeah. a little bit too quickly there, April. <laughs> no. Okay, then. My face won't be on the packaging. Uh, right, Dr. Ruby, let's come to you. Uh, it is, as I said, you know, we want to talk health. We want to talk about getting health and nutrients from fresh vegetables, from the Eat Well logo is the beginning for anybody that struggles. Some people don't like fresh fruit and veg. The Eat Well veg sign, which is a sunflower, of course, it's a really good signal that what we're about to eat is good for us, isn't it? And balanced. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, there's about a thousand products, I think, with the Eat Well. Correct me if I'm wrong, April. But no, there's a several thousand. thousand. Several thousand, actually. Oh, we no, just don't, we don't stick the, no, we don't stick the sunflower on every single fruit and vegetable. But obviously, they all count as well. So, um, yeah, we've, gotcha. we've got yeah. a huge amount. Sorry, didn't okay. mean to correct yeah, you there. Got... You're the doctor. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I was corrected. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So, there's, there's thousands. Did you hear that? There's thousands of products there. Um, but I'm obviously a massive fan of getting as many whole fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds as possible. And really just thinking about the healthy eating principles that a lot of the products uh, maintain. You know, we want to get colors as much as possible. So what do colors mean? These are micronutrients like vitamins and minerals, but also the phytonutrients that you find concentrated in the skin. So if you have like a butternut squash, for example, a lot of the nutrition is in the skin itself because that's where it's concentrated. So you want to try and save the peeling as much as possible. And I know Chris is probably going to have some suggestions as to how to use the peel of veggies that we tend to throw away. Um, perhaps he, he'll give us some suggestions a bit later. Perhaps. Um, perhaps. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Test, test his knowledge. <laughs> talk about, wait, talk about yeah. throwing him under the bus. <laughs> oh, well, Chris knows all about what, what you do with the avocado stone uh, after you've eaten the rest of the avocado. But he'll probably so, about that later. Thank you. I'll yeah. Google right, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm off. Yeah, grab I'm your off, phone. Yeah. See if you can find it on your Google. <laughs> oh, well, Dr. Ruby, I've got a measure of you straight away. As you were saying, You're sir. Next, Andy. Yeah, so, <laughs> So uh, we've got fiber as well. So fiber is one of the key things that we are missing, ten that we tend to be missing in our diets. We get it simply from beans, nuts, legumes, so red kidney beans like this. And also this bowl of nuts that I've literally been snacking on during the adverts there, because uh, I can't help myself. But these are a really good snack to have and you can build up your own with walnuts, pistachios, whatever nuts you like. Um, we want more of that in our diet because it supports our microbiota which is a fancy word for the microbes that live all over our body, largely in our gut. 
is completely inseparable from maintaining good health. So balancing inflammation, controlling sugar, and also creating neurotransmitters that can have both direct and indirect effects on our mood. So if you if you want to cheer me up, think about some nuts and some beans, Andy. Yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. thinking. Yeah, are you happy? <laughs> I'm thinking about them. Yeah, you happy? Yeah, good. good. Like, We're featuring some of those later. We're all right. <laughs> Definitely. Um, as well as uh, the fiber content of nuts, you want quality fats, right? So these quality fats, including omega-3 and other fatty acids, are essential when it comes to cell membrane structure, as well as balancing inflammation. And also getting it from cold-pressed oils, mm. like classic olive oil here, something I use liberally. Uh, a lot of people think that you can't cook with olive oil, but you can because it actually has a smoking temperature around 170 degrees centigrade. So as long as you're not overcooking it or you're taking it to high temperatures when you're deep frying, it's perfectly safe to cook at low to medium heat temperatures as well. Um, what else can we talk about? Plant focused. I'm surrounded by plants here apart from the salmon that Chris is going to be cooking up and I'm going to be marking him out of 10 for that as well later. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> He's got an infamy. Yeah, yeah. You didn't realise you were going to be under this no. much pressure, wow. did you? It's like you don't I, thought, yeah, Ruby, I, I thought we were friends. Yeah, obviously not. Yeah, yeah, is it, are you going to give him a score at the end, Dr. Rupi? Is he going to have marks out of 10? Definitely. We're going to be yeah. marking it on flavour, on nutritional content, on everything. So, right, you, no you, you know, you better bring your A game. <laughs> Always. So you've got everything. So, anything? Go on. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I was going to say the last thing I want to talk about is having a plant focused lifestyle. So mm -hmm. really looking at the studies that examine uh, the longest living people, they have largely plants in their diet and they get diversity as well. So having color, variety and enjoying your food as well. It's super important to enjoy your food. This is key to health and well-being. And that's what, you know, tonight for me is all about having this selection of different foods. All right, Dr. Rupi, because you've got the bants, uh, I'm going to test you now. Uh, so, you talked about eating a, a, a plate full of colour. Something red. Hit me. What should I eat that's red? Uh, so, you've got tomatoes, um, you have bell peppers, um, you can even have certain types All right, of don't, don't show well. off. You don't have to give me three things. You don't have to All give right. me one. You don't have to give me one. Okay. Something yellow. Yellow or orange? Yellow. We've got or we've got uh, onion. I think the the forgotten ingredients actually yeah. are onions and ginger because they they do count as as your five a day. But onions are I, I definitely yeah yellow. And finally, something green. No, that's easy. Even I could do that. I mean, we've got tons of greens here. I've got spinach, tender stem, whatever you want. I got it. And what about something orange that swims in the sea? Orange, this one's the, okay. Well, we've got some, <laughs> some beautiful salmon here. Yeah. <laughs> this is a segue to Chris. But yes, yes. This, is, yes, this is what they called on the script segue yeah. to Chris that you have forgot to do. Yeah. It's live. It's so live. I, I don't worry, I walked I walk you right up there. No one will ever notice when this gets on YouTube, this will be edited out. Uh, yeah, you're right. right. Funny you should mention salmon, Dr. Rupi, because Chris is doing <laughs> salmon. So, well, Chris, what are you going to make with your salmon? Um, salmon with an avocado skin. Oh, yeah. no, I'm, not. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to do a lovely. We've got this M&S responsibly sourced Scottish salmon. It's yeah. delicious. And we're just going to give it a bit of zing with this Zatar mix, which is a Middle Eastern spice blend. I'd say spice. It's not chilly heat. It's aromatic. It's fragrant. You've yeah. got sumac in there, which actually has a citrus note to it, which is going to go perfectly with our fish. There's some cumin, uh, some herbs and things like that. So onto our salmon. And how long would this dish take to make? Well, we're going to do it live now, so okay. less, less than 10 minutes. OK, can I just remind, whilst you're sprinkling yeah. that, uh, remember, if you want to enter our competition, the lines are going to close in 16 minutes from now. They close at 7.30. So if you want to enter the competition to win £250 to spend at Marks & Spencer, uh, you must send us your name, where you are, and tell us what's your favourite product in the Eat Well range or what are you most excited uh, to look forward to trying? There are so many products in the Eat Well range. We just want to hear which one you want to do and we will announce the winner before the end of this program. So back to the salmon, the king of fish. So the salmon, we've just got that skin side down, sort of medium hot pan and we'll just cook it until the skin begins to crisp yeah. and then we'll flip it over and I'll give it some time on each side so we can get some crispiness and caramelization on there. You can see that just starting to cook. When with your fish, yeah. some people aren't so confident about cooking it. You'll know that the, the colour will start to change up the side of the piece of fish. Yeah. And then when it's halfway, flip it over kind yeah. of thing. We've got some kale in here. And I think the message tonight is 
Hail the kale. This is just pre-cooked. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> kale, hail the kale. Hail the kale. kale. So, this kale counts towards one of your five a day, but a portion of kale, Rupi will correct me if I'm wrong, is all of your vitamin C for the day. Really? So is that thinks, correct? Does he get a point for that? No, he's got it completely wrong. I don't oh. know where he's got that from. Hilarious. It was you. <laughs> I, 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 I um, <laughs> yeah. I'm loving the doctor. Yeah, yeah. I love the doctor. I don't, I don't want to go and visit uh, Rupi in hospital. He's given all these dodgy answers. Uh, yeah. Am I all right? No, you're not. No, you're fine. Um, so that, that, that everyone thinks vitamin C is oranges and stuff out of yeah. kale. It's packed full of it. And then we're talking about fiber. It's essential. We need about 30 grams of fiber yeah. a day. This actually contains 10 grams of fiber. That's because we're going to use some nuts, seeds. We've got fiber in the kale, but also this grain mix. That's bulgur wheat. That's uh, red rice, quinoa or quinoa. Quinoa. We had a yeah, the, yeah, we had a debate about is it called quinoa or is it called quinoa. Yeah. I say quinoa. April I says quinoa. Dr. Rupi says quinoa. Okay, quinoa. Chris, Chris it looks like we're all right. Well, I'm, I'm the food expert and it's quinoa. Uh, <laughs> oh, so, no, no, no. oh, I love I'm it. I'm getting yeah. that now. I think, it, I think it's from where I'm from. Yeah. But the one thing, how are we pronouncing? Freaker. Freaker in there. Freaker. So What's that, that? Yeah, Freaka. What is it? I don't even know what it is. So Freaka is durum. the green durum wheat grain. Oh, okay. When it's young and then it's toasted and it's polished and yeah. it's absolutely delicious. Oh, okay. Did I get that right, Dr. Rupi? Yeah, it's a brilliant you grain. I love yeah. using Freaka. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a wheat containing grain. Um, it, it's got that slight green shine to it and it's really high in fiber. So it's great to see this with a collection of other grains like the quinoa yeah. Uh, yeah, that's quinoa. also a novel source of um full pro uh, plant-based protein so all nine essential amino acids in there as well so it's a great mix yeah. and very quickly just before chris does the next stage what i would love to know doc is we always talk about the fats in salmon um, cod liver oil the fish oils seem to be good for us are all fish oils good for us so fish like salmon and anchovies and mackerel, they contain a specific long chain omega-3 fatty acid called DHA and EPA. And those are fantastic for us because they support cell membrane structure, but they're also the precursors to a lot of hormones that are created in the body as well. So a lot of different types of fish do contain a myriad of different fats that are beneficial for that reason. And they also contain monounsaturated fatty acids, which again are very healthy from a cardiovascular point of view. Okay, perfect. There we go, everybody. He really is a doctor. He really is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, 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 uh, it's interesting because medics don't actually get taught nutrition at medical school, but um, I'm, I'm studying for a master's in nutritional medicine at the University of Surrey. So we're trying to get more nutrition into the medical curricula. Um, uh, but yeah, so hopefully there'll be more doctors like me talking about food. All right, show Fantastic. off. Fantastic. If he's a master's and he's already a doctor. Oh, hello. All right. Blimey. I'm studying how to make salmon skin side down. I've got a chef That's with a very me. useful yeah. skill It's as well, a great though. skill. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, Chris, how's it looking? Um, it's looking pretty much as it was when we were last year. It's still skin side down. We're yep. just waiting for that to crisp up. And just to talk you through what we'll do, we'll yep. take that out to rest. You don't want to overcook salmon. Yep. It'll continue to cook when we take it out of the pan. And this grain mix, really convenient. You can just pop this in the microwave. Um, and I think people think, oh, when would I eat that? Think, when do you eat rice? When do you eat white rice? This mm. has got far much more nutritional value. If you're having a curry, a chili, you can use this and you just pop it in the microwave. And it comes in a pack. It's, you don't have yeah. To, yeah, it comes I mean, in a the, pack. The, the good thing, I mean, it's brilliant because grains actually do take a little while to cook. Right. And particularly if you've got four grains, you know, it's a fast, you've got to buy four different types. So there, I mean, I always have a few packs of those in the cupboard and they taste it's really brilliant and lots of texture in there. I find rice a bit bland, to yeah. be honest. I have to say, though, because I'm allowed to say, um, that the Marks and Spencer rices, rices, in a bag, are all quite good. They are. Well, yeah. everything they're, we do is good. Dr. Rupi, <laughs> well, everything is good. You say everything is good. I say, yeah, everything is good, apart from things I don't like. Uh, Dr. Rupi just he was like, he can't, I can't believe Andy says he doesn't like things. You're still, you're still in a state of shock, aren't you? Well, it's nice to know that you give an honest answer. Like yeah, always. Well, no, not gonna, everybody oh, likes everything, uh, but... <laughs> not, not, not to April. They're all good, but we just like different things. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There we go. Go on, there what are you going to ask, Dr. Rupi? 
I was just going to ask Chris actually if you could use uh, a different fish if you if you didn't like salmon if you wanted something different. Yeah, absolutely. You could use cod, you could use sea bass, or mackerel. what you could do is actually yeah, mackerel would be fantastic. Be nice, and to be fair, I know we're talking about the oily, um, the, the fats and stuff in the fish, but if you were going down the vegan route, yeah, you could do this same recipe, but maybe with some aubergine. Um, oh. You could even go tofu. It's really versatile. And you see, I'm actually just cooking the salmon on all sides. Yeah. So we get some colour on there. And actually, you can see it's still, it's still not quite where you want it because it's still quite soft. Yeah, that's right. It yeah. will firm up in there. It smells then, incredible. Rather than sort of seasoning this up with um, salt, we're going to use some feta cheese. Oh. So a little bit of feta. It's that's thinking okay. cleverly now about yeah. how do we, what are the flavour profiles of the food we're eating. So the feta... It's naturally salty, so we don't need to add salt. Yeah. And then we're thinking about how to enhance flavours. Let's use some lemon. So at the end, just to squeeze a lemon, it's going to make all of those flavours. Give it a little bit of a zing. Yeah, give it a little bit nice. of a zing. Okay, while you're doing that, and that salmon's not cooking as fast as I'd like it to cook yeah. uh, for the timings of the show, um, <laughs> uh, let me remind you, there are now only 10 minutes left uh, before we close the lines for the competition. Uh, so you really must rush if you want to get a enter the competition between £250 to spend at Marks & Spencer. Uh, all you've got to do is tell us which Eat Well product you're most looking forward to, give us your name and where you're from, uh, and quite simply email it to sparkslive at marksandspencer.com. That's sparkslive at marksandspencer.com. Entries close in under nine minutes from now. Somebody's going to walk away with £250 to spend at M&S. Hello, could it be me? Uh, right, let's... Okay, hand April. up, I'm putting hand my hand up. up. Yes, yes, April two in things, the green. Two things. Yes. One, I think there might be some people out there that don't actually know what an Eat Well product is. Okay. All you right. Well, I let, should say? Well, do you know what? Yeah, let's explain. What, you still got... Can we do something I can do it in one... Yeah, I can do it in 30 yeah, seconds. Okay, on, yeah, yeah. So, hang on, let's just pretend. So, April, tell me, what exactly is an Eat Well product? Okay, so an Eat Well product is a product that has a sunflower on it, and it's like shopping with a nutritionist. So every single product that has a sunflower, like this, means that the, um, it's created with specific nutritional criteria that are based on government health guidelines. Um, so you can guarantee it's going to be really, really healthy. And we've got thousands, yes. as we talked about earlier, not just in salads and ready meals and sandwiches, but in dairy, lean proteins, all our fruit and vegetables, thousands of products. So any of those you can enter into the competition. But more importantly, I've got a question for Rupi. Can you tell us Tessa. what is a healthy alternative to frying in oil? A healthy alternative to frying in oil. So and that was from the, Fraser. The... <laughs> oh, okay, great. Um, so the, the natural answer would be to think about the amount of oil that you're using as well as the quality of the oil. And the <laughs> other thing is, if you are uh, thinking about that bit. removing all oils from your diet, then, you know, you can actually water fry as well. So if you're on a strict kind of protective <laughs> diet where they don't want a certain amount of fat, you can use a little bit of water in the onions and that's how you do it. Wait, okay. What was so funny about my answer? No, it no, wasn't, no, no, no. no, no. It wasn't I'm funny. not supposed to ask the questions. April's not meant to ask the questions. She was meant to hand <laughs> oh, the questions Andy. to me, but she was like, so, Dr. Ruby, I was like, oh, what am I doing here, then? <laughs> That was brilliant. Andy, yes, I boss. think she's uh, undermining your presenting. I know, you unbelievable. Should, uh, I'll get my coat. What a way to find out you're being axed. Yeah. Right, April, there's a question here for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, the question says, when is vegan cheese coming to Marks & Spencer? Vegan cheese is already at Marks & Spencer. In actual fact, we've launched three this January. Um, one of them, which is very, very similar to a feta. So if you are doing a vegan version of this dish that um, Chris is creating, then you can put vegan feta on the top. OK, great. And Chris, you're, well, Chris wants to plate up. Well, before you plate up, yeah. question. We'd love to see weekly recipe cards. Can we do that? Absolutely. So every week in store, well, every month, I create four Feed Your Family for £12 recipes using incredible, fresh, M&S ingredients, you can go in, they're right there next to a bit of a standee of me holding them in front yes. of you. And next week, I believe I'll be here doing one live. For, oh, fantastic. Yeah, so. I look forward to getting that booking to host. Apparently I'm not, oh, my services aren't required. Yeah. You'll be here by yourself. I'll be here on my own. <laughs> yeah, you'll be here by yourself. More food for me, Andy. Yeah, win-win. We're getting here with the salmon now. So right. we've taken the salmon out. I've just sprinkled a little more of our za'atar mix. 
just on top of the salmon. And then in the pan, you've still got all of the, we're talking about these healthy fats and oils. That's all just naturally come out of the salmon. Yeah. We're just going to stir through our grain mix. It's already warmed through. It's just literally in there to sort of soak up any of those flavors. We can add a little more za'atar in there, along with some of our kale. Oh, you're going to mix that in? Yeah, we're going to mix it in. And it's all just going to, all the, all the flavor, all the texture, we and everything all in one. Squeeze a lemon juice in there just to sort of freshen it up. And just to be clear, had you cooked the rice, sorry, the, you know, the, the, the grains, had you cooked those already according to the yeah, instructions? Yeah, I already just cooked okay, according fine. to the instructions. Yeah. Little drizzle, like Rupi's mentioned about the olive oil. Yeah, he's got an even posher one than you. Yeah. <laughs> Extra virgin olive oil in there. <laughs> yeah, you got that one. That's like right posh. Yeah. This is really nice. You can tell it's a good oil when you taste it. It's got that peppery aftertaste. Yeah. yeah. And that's indicative of the polyphenols in the oil. So, okay. yeah. And then when it comes down to plating up, and you asked a week, how long would this take to do at home? Yeah. Literally, as long as this. So, some of our grains and greens on our serving dishes. And again, this is 10, 10 grams of fiber in this, one of your five a day. Lovely. You're getting some protein. From the, from the salmon, which I know you're a fan of, Andy. Yes, yes. All your training. This is my dinner tonight. Literally, yeah. this is my dinner. On we go with that. So <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Who's jealous now, Dr. Rupi? Yeah, I'm just bitter that I'm not in the studio being able to try uh, that dish. And zatar is my favorite herb mix as well. So it's, it's rubbing it's, salt in the wound here. The, the zatar is perfect just for livening up your veggies, anything like that. And I mean, this just looks really pretty and stuff as well. Look at that. And the color on that salmon. And That's I've got it. to say, the, Cooked the, perfectly. the salmon we hope. from M&S. Well, yeah, we hope. <laughs> Wait till we tried it. Little feta cheese just over the top. And then for one final, Taking Dr. Rupi's advice there, we've got some mixed seeds. Okay. Just on the top, bit of texture. And I think the thing is, we're talking about all the health benefits, but I'm here because this is delicious. This is really nice food, you know? Well, we get to try it April, yeah. which is quite I know, lucky. I can't wait. Uh, let me just give you the three minute warning. This is your two minute 45 second warning. If you want to enter our competition, it's our draw. You get £250 to spend at Marks & Spencer. Uh, all you've got to do is tell us which Eat Well product you're most looking forward to enjoying. Uh, send us your name, where you're from. Sparks live at marksandspencer.com. Uh, as I said, the lines are going to close. Entries close in two and a half minutes from now. We would love to hear from you. That same email address if you've got a question for us as well. So, we're going to have a qu quick try of this, Chris. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, I mean, it, the plate looks fantastic, don't you think? I couldn't wait, plate, sorry. I mean, I think the plate looks lovely. Look at that. It's cooked. Absolutely the beautiful. salmon is cooked so perfectly. You've got a lovely, crispy outside. Absolutely perfect. Oh, thank you very much. Oh. Thank sorry, you. Dr. Rupi, it's absolutely delicious. But we haven't had to do much yeah. there. It's not really... <laughs> yeah, yes, we've cooked it, but it's not like, it's not an effort. I don't feel like, oh... Do you know a what? Big recipe here or anything. Interesting. I would never have thought to use the feta to get the saltiness yeah. into the dish. Yeah. And salmon isn't an over salty fish anyway. I think the feta works brilliantly for bringing the salt to yeah. the dish. That's really, it's really great, Dr. Ruby. I mean, I'm so sorry you're not here. Yeah. It's so yeah. delicious. <laughs> And so I'm simple. Sure Chris to my will um, pop system. you one in the post. Yeah, I'll pop one in the post. And been cooked yeah. for us <laughs> by a chef. I mean, a chef has cooked this for us, Dr. Rupi. Like a proper chef. Yeah. Not a doctor, yeah. a chef. <laughs> just so you know, it's cooked by a chef. Sorry, I can't talk. I've just got to enjoy a bit more. Yeah. I mean, that... Well, Chris has made it look really easy there, so I reckon yeah. we could probably emulate this at home. And I, I do have some Definitely. salmon here, so I yeah. might be using this recipe a bit later. Yeah. Mm, I've got a question for you, Dr. Ruby, very quickly. Let's come in. How do we stop destroying the vitamins when we cook our vegetables? What's the best way to stop destroying vitamins when we cook our vegetables? That's a great question. So I think regardless of whether you choose to cook your tomatoes for a long period of time, you're still going to get a lot of nutrition out of it, like those novel antioxidants. But the best way to cook food is almost the best way to extract the maximum flavor. So steaming, sauteing instead of boiling, which leaches out a lot of the vitamin C, and then doing it for the minimum amount of time where you've got that vibrant green color, for example, if you're doing tender stem broccoli, that is the best way to preserve the nutrition. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Now I've got to let you know that the lines for entering our competition where you can win 250 pounds 
uh, of vouchers to spend at Marks and Spencer are going to close in about 10 seconds from now, which means I now need to keep speaking for those 10 seconds because I need to close the lines on time. Luckily, being the professional that I am, I've only got five seconds left. <laughs> so quite frankly, if you want to enter our competition to win £250 to spend at Marks and Spencer's, you can't because it's now 7.30 <laughs> and the lines have closed. Uh, thank you to everyone who has entered. We will be picking a winner and we will let the winner know before we come off air today who has won £250 to spend at M&S. So, look, this is fantastic. And we've talked about the plates of food yeah. having lots of colour. And that's a really great way to understand that you are getting all the bits and pieces you need. It took 15 minutes, 20 minutes to cook. But what about if I haven't got that time to cook, Chris? OK, well, I think April is going to jump in with some I super am. speedy Oh, thanks, actions. April. Yes. Yeah. Jumping um, in again. Yeah, jumping now in she's doing your yeah. job. Yeah. I mean, she yeah. does them all, quite frankly. Yeah. Can you right, behind in? you, in a socially, yeah. socially distanced way, I've got a couple of little snacks. Have you got your Bang Bang chicken oh, yeah, over there, Chris? Mm. So, um, as part of the Well range, we've um, created some things that you can eat cold, so you can just grab them at any time of the day. Yeah. Um, this is the roasted butternut squash that we talked about earlier. It's got the Eat Well um, sunflower, it's got seven grams of protein in it, and it's veggie, so it's packed full of delicious flavours. Black lentils, if you've never had them, I kind of think like they're the best lentils. They are, they're really small, very, very delicious. And then we've made a hummus with turmeric and cayenne through it. That goes on to the bottom, and then some roasted butternut squash on the top, and you can see, hopefully, how beautifully charred that is. Now, I'm hoping I can convince Andy to swap his miso mushrooms for this one <laughs> because I really, really want you to try it. It's, it's my absolute favourite. And if you're mm. stuck at your desk all day um, and you're Zoom calling or you're in lots of meetings, you just need to grab something, go and get it from the fridge. I take it out 10 minutes before I want to eat it because it's nice, tiny bit warm. Right. And um, you've got a brilliant nutritional snack there for you. Right, I'm going in. Here we go. Have you got one there, Dr. Rupi? What do you think? Yeah. Um, Before well, we Andy's started eating, rude sorry. about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is honestly delicious. I do love the textures, the uh, the slight char on the, um, on the squash. I love what you guys have done there. And from a nutritional point of view, you can't really get better for a snack. This is, this is well, perfect. We could have left the skin on the butternut squash, I've just said. <laughs> but actually, we have done that on some of our dishes. But in this one, it just really didn't work because you needed that sort of softness. So... But on several of our um, dishes, we have got butternuts. And what's skin. actually lovely, and I do love my miso mushrooms, what's lovely about this is that the you get a lot of natural sweetness. Mm. So it doesn't feel like you're just mm. eating sort of, you know, raw vegetables. And actually, you're right, the textures, that's the thing. You get there's some crunch in the lentils, you've got the smoothness of the hummus. Yeah. And I, do you know what? Butternut squash, sweet potatoes, you know, they're all from the same family in my yeah. head. Oh, it's, it is, it's love. It's delicious. So I won't even... Good. We'll Good. make it up. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm. So, if you want something slightly more substantial, it's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. um, again, you're stuck in front of your computer or you're rushing around, taking the dogs for a walk or whatever you're doing, and you haven't got time to actually um, prepare the beautiful salmon and mm. grains, then um, we've got this wonderful Bang Bang Chicken, which is also in the well range. Um, so, this is one of your five a day. Again, it's high in protein. It's only just over 300 calories for the whole pack, which... Well, um, look at the colour. Sorry, look at that. Well, yeah, and it's, it's packed full of goodies. So you've got um, red peppers, you've got red cabbage, you've got spinach, you've got edamame beans. Um, but what dressing. brings it all together is a really beautiful peanut yeah. um, dressing. And you can either pour it all over or you can dip things in. Um, but I, I just think it's absolutely delicious. And, you know, I could eat that every how day, much, really. How much research goes into creating these dishes? Is, I mean, is it... Is this, is it Days of work, weeks of work, months, months of, of work. Is it months of work. For yeah, each thing? I mean, there's a lot of research that goes in at the beginning to really understand, you know, what's popular at the moment, what are the trends that are coming through. Um, but then there's the um, the work that goes into actually creating it exactly the same day in day out because you know it's not like throwing something together in your own kitchen. You know, if you're buying um, one of these salads, you want it to taste the same whether you buy it this week, next week, the week after. So lots and lots of um, work that goes into that. And I think, well, uh, Chris, what do you mm. think? Because I know you're a Bang Bang fan. I am a Bang Bang fan. Mm. Um, mm. <laughs> delicious. The dressing is what makes it. Yeah. And the crunch that you retain in all the veg. And it just looks so nice as well, which, like I say, I've eaten this in a restaurant of it. It's always presented beautifully, but there's still a nice bit of heat mm. in the sauce. And this just comes good to go. That's just go in and buy it. And you're, there's no, you don't need to heat that or anything, do you? Just... 
Fantastic. Good. I think, you know, poke bowls. Yes. Very on trend. Yep. People want poke bowls. That for me is the same sort of thing. You know, it's the same idea. Lots of stuff, lots of flavour. Oh. You're, you're bang on, you know, because poke bowls are very similar to Buddha bowls that we're going to be tasting. Oh, really? Moment. Yes. They're, they're, they're sort of a little bit interchangeable in terms of it's all the components separately, which is what we've, we've done here. It's a very um, on trend. Oh, it's so delicious. Kind of it's mm. so, so, so delicious. Right. Mm. Chris, a question has come in for you. Okay. The question is, how can I make kale taste more delicious? Mm. Really simple. Oh, yep. The Zato mix. Stuff like this, any veg that you're doing, just a little sprinkle. This doesn't need to be cooked through. You can use it as a seasoning. And it's just something different. Um, I mean, sorry, I'm still enjoying this bang bang chicken. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> you I think it's, uh, it's you, using. I was, I, I was enjoying you talking, so I could be you eating. Can, you can enjoy uh, the bang bang chicken. Whereas the bang bang chicken's now throwing yeah. you off, so now everyone's just looking at me eating the I bang bang chicken. A couple of ways. So go oh, back to him. Yeah, a bit like <laughs> a bit of zatar in there. But for me, something I love to do, whether it's kale, tender stem, broccoli, any greens. Just cook them off in, in water, as, as I did there. Just boil them, standard. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of olive oil in the pan, extra virgin, not too high of a heat. Some sliced chilli, a little bit of garlic. And then just warm it through and toss in your green veg. Mm -hmm. And toss it through and you've got this, like, the, the garlic's going to flavour the oil, the chilli. And just it just brings it to life. Lovely. Thank mm. you very much. Thank you. Could you have spoken a little bit longer? Because I'm still. Yeah, what else could you do with a piece of cake? Just give me five seconds. That's all, I, that's all I need is five seconds. What are you going to do next? What am I going to do next? I'm going to do something sweet for you. So, Ooh. something, a breakfast idea, a little overnight oats. Have you had overnight oats before? I have made overnight oats. Mine, oh, there's mine! That's a picture I posted of my overnight oats. Oh, um, oh thank you, Mark Spence, for using my imagery. I'll have you know that was mine from last year, Andy. <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Straw that was um, strawberry and almond overnight oats. Okay. So that was what we did when, when strawberries were in season. So mm -hmm. today I'm going to do a, a berry bakewell. And I'm going to use frozen fruit for it because not all of these berries are in season. So frozen fruit's a perfect right. thing. Let's stop you there. Dr. Rupi, using frozen vegetables, frozen fruit, does that count? Will that be as nutritious? Um, I'm definitely a big fan of using frozen produce. They're more convenient. It means that you can get them uh, all year round. You can use as much as you need so there's less waste. And because they're frozen at source, a lot of them actually retain their nutritional value. So sometimes more than the fresh actually, um, because there's less handling. So I'm a big fan of using frozen produce where possible and they do retain a lot of nutrition. Thank you, Dr. R. May I call you Dr. R? You can call me Rupi, you know. <laughs> oh, well, oh, I was briefly, I had to always say the word doctor, just in case your parents were really? watching. So, Dr. <laughs> Rupi, I just keep saying doctor just to make sure everyone remembers. All that studying you did, do you know what I mean? Might as well. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. I love how cool and relaxed he is. Uh, right, so Chris, how do we make the overnight oats? How do we make them? Well, I've done you some little individual portions behind you that you'll see. Okay. So you can put them into jam jars like this, whereas I'm going to do more like a family sized portion. So, yep. night before, you can get this ready. Really simple. We've got the frozen berries there, but you, you can use any frozen fruit that you like, so you can mix it around, and I guess it's a great way to get your kids to try different different fruits. We'll put some of it in, and then what I'm going to do is actually just mash a few of the berries down to release the juice from them, Yeah, because that's going to go through our oats. And that, is that the, um, I'm going to ask April quickly, is that you, that's the frozen mixed bag you get? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And then into there, obviously we're going to need our oats going yeah. in. You want about 40 grams okay. uh, per, per portion into there. And then we've got our yoghurt. This is a source of calcium. Yep. It's also a bit of protein in there. Oh, I've not Probably seen that size. Flour. I've not seen that size. size in my shop, in my M&S. Yes. I've never seen that size yoghurt. That's so, huge. Here we go with our yoghurt. Oh, <laughs> All these things I'm missing out on are these thousands of lines. <laughs> and then we've got... We'll send you to a bigger Almond shop. milk. <laughs> uh, some almond milk going in. But again, Shh, you can... Chris you, is talking. You can use any milk that you want for this, Andy. Yes. You can use soya milk, oat milk. Cow's milk. Cow's milk for me. Yeah, and personally. me. Yeah. Oh, Give no, that I a like stir through. Milk. Coconut milk. Oat milk. Oat milk. Yeah. Here we, here's my interesting oat milk fact. If you like a cappuccino or a drink like that hot, oat milk can be steamed to the highest temperature. Really? Ain't that a fact, Dr. R? 
I didn't actually know that. That's news to me. I've Thanks for educating I've, me yeah. on that. Yeah, it didn't teach you that at the medical school no. in Surrey, did they? <laughs> I've got an even better fact. Yes, go on. On oat milk. Yes. So um, we've just launched an oat barista milk, mm. which froths perfectly if you're having a homemade cappuccino. Literally, it's been we are invented. It's been invented specifically for that purpose. We are the gift that keeps on giving. Well, you are, because you know everything. <laughs> you know everything there is to know. Sorry, Chris is still talking, everybody. Yeah. Sorry, no, sorry. Um, we're back in with our almond butter. Yeah. So this um, is a source of protein, and obviously on that Bakewell vibe. This recipe is a lot of it done to taste, because obviously you, if you like lots more berries, you put lots more berries in. If you like, you can do that. If you want to follow the sort of eat well guidelines on the website, we've got the exact quantities that oh, perfect. you'd want to do. And just a touch of honey, and literally, it just needs a touch. You've got natural sweetness in, in the berries. That honey just almost enhances all the flavours in there. We can stir we it. Dig in? Are we yeah, yeah to? dig in. I'm we stir it through, <laughs> and you're going to get a sort of consistency. Like this. I've already been digging in, to be yeah, honest. digging in. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, we can see you spilt some on your shirt. So, so you get sort of a fairly loose consistency right at that point. Now you literally put that in the fridge. That's your breakfast, ready to go mm. in the morning. There's our little jam jar. So when we're allowed to be back out and about, maybe you're traveling to the office, you could mm. take that with you on your journey, or you could set little ones up for the kids. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Oh, it's That's lovely. It's delicious. It's really, really nice. I love it. It's really nice. I love in the little presentation, you've added a quick berry on top. Yeah, and also I've saved on, on yours, I would do this the next day, just a little scattering of almonds on there mm. to give it a bit of crunch and mm. texture. It's not too sweet, that's what I love, but it, you know, exactly as you said, Andy, you can make it to taste. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, but I, yeah. And also, it, it's a bit like Bicca Muesli, mm. which, yeah. That, Bircher, that used, Bircher, Bircher, no, Bicca. Is it Bicca? Because it's Swiss, oh, no, everyone, learned... everyone says Bircher. How do you say it? Bicca, because it's a Swiss word. Okay. So, Chris, you're the expert. What do you say? Um, I say it's Bircher, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, I've never heard it called. Uh, no, no one's ever heard it called Bicker because no one goes to Switzerland apart from me. Yeah. But right, in, we, in Switzerland, they call it Bicker. Why do you go to Switzerland? Have we got anyone Swiss in the audience? Can you confirm yeah, if what you're I'm yes. Confirm or deny? If please. you're Swiss, please let us know. But it is, don't Google it because Google will just go Bircher because Google's American. <laughs> and it's not Bicker Swiss. Muesli. Okay. Definitely, it's Bicca Muesli. Well, I've learned something new tonight. There I we love are. that. You used to have Bicca Muesli in the shops in a little pot. We still do. And a chocolate one. We still do. Okay, just check him. Uh, okay, <laughs> right. But this is really delicious. This is really, really delicious. Really I, is good. See, I really like this. And actually, and again, you could, how long would it last in the fridge? I, I'd give it like two days. Something like that. Right, okay. Yeah. Fair I need to, I want to have another spoonful. Could you just go through the ingredients again? Yeah, and go Thanks. through the ingredients one more time. So we've got our <laughs> oats, we've got our fruit, which you can use whatever you want. Mm. And when we come into like spring, summer, you could use more seasonal fruits. Raspberries are delicious and strawberries. Um, we've got our milk again, mm -hmm. milk of your choice. A little bit of honey to sweeten. Andy's probably got 10 more seconds of chewing. Mm -hmm. And we've got some yogurt just to bring it all together and give a bit of thickness, some calcium. And this is also seven grams of fiber in there again. One of your five a day, seven grams of fiber. I can't think of a better, delicious way to, to start the day. Mm, absolutely delicious. Mm. That's really, really good. Oh, thank you very that's much. That's very, very well, well done. And actually, again, so simple. Yeah. So, so simple. And so that's quick. I think as well, in the morning, especially families with kids, it's that decision time in the morning. What's for breakfast? What are we going to make? Put that together the night before. You wake up, breakfast done, good to go, up in the fridge, and you're right. off. Okay. Uh, we've got some more questions. Uh, <laughs> Rupi, uh, could you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> um, Suresh wants to know what's the best vegan protein option? Oh, so um, vegan protein options, there's so many different ones out there. There's nuts and seeds, which are your classic vegan proteins. You've got beans. You want to make sure that you're combining different sources of protein so you get a whole uh, protein with all nine essential amino acids. And then you have some uh, interesting ones like quinoa, amaranth, and even shelled hemp seeds that are novel in that they contain all nine essential amino acids. But the best way I think to think about vegan protein is looking at whole ingredients as much as possible. So rice, beans, nuts, and seeds. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Rupi. Uh, April, Nick would like to know, will you make a vegan version of Bang Bang Chicken? Nick, we already have. It's a no bang bang chicken. No, <laughs> no chicken bang bang. Sorry, not a no bang bang chicken. No chicken bang bang. No chicken bang bang. No chicken <laughs> bang bang. And you can buy it you. in your local M&S now. Sorry. So we're, we're slightly ahead of you there, Nick. But thank you. Keep those ideas coming. Okay, lovely. 
<laughs> International copyright law means that's going to be taken out before it gets to YouTube. Uh, right, uh, Chris, <laughs> have you got any ideas for leek recipes for the kids, says Marina. <laughs> Marina, I love the fact yeah. you're just uh -huh. using this service because you've got some leeks. You're like, yeah. oh, there's that Chris, I'll ask him. Yeah, I'll ask yeah. him. Any leek recipe ideas for kids? Yeah, definitely. I think one thing that's really nice is almost like a, a creamy kind of leek sauce which you can add chicken or sausages or mushrooms to so literally sweat off your leeks maybe five minutes or so you can add some whole grain or dijon mustard into there maybe a splash of chicken or vegetable stock and just simmer it away and you're almost like braising the leeks they're going to really soften down nicely a uh, little bit of creme fraiche just to give it some richness and creaminess and into that, that that's a simple sauce you could pour that over a piece of chicken or pork chop but yeah. what you could do is cook the leeks add the stock and then cook pieces of chicken or sausages in it and just finish it off with a, with a creme fraiche. Oh, there we go, Marina. I'll pop that on my Instagram if she wants to. Oh, Marie, yeah. oh Marina's going to put it on his Instagram for yeah. you. There we go. Talk about <laughs> personal service. Yeah, there you go. That's the M&S yeah. difference, yeah, you dead, see. It's dead easy, that, as well. Really easy. Is it? Yeah. Okay, good. Dead easy. Lovely, thank you. Thank uh, you. Right, uh, uh, what's it called? Buddha Bowl. Buddha is it Bowl. Not, is it not Buddha Bowl time? It is Breeder. I'm sorry? You remember Breeder? Yeah, lovely Breeder. Breeder that basically <laughs> runs the whole business. Yeah, He's coming in now oh, with some oh, of the products hello. we talked about earlier. And we've got Chris too. Oh, hello, Chris. Hi. Come on, Chris. All oh, right, so. <laughs> yeah. So we've got three, back. That's right. three Eat Well dishes for you to try. Yeah. So the first one that, that um, Breeder's putting down now is one of our stir fry, um, from our stir fry range. Right, lovely. So we've got a lovely mix of broccoli beans. Comes already in a pack. We've got some king prawns. Well, I thought those king prawns. Did no, they I go think in something there? coming. Um, and see. then what we're using, sorry, they're on the screen now. We've got this amazing spiced turmeric and ginger sauce. Yeah. Which is another Eat Well product. And this has actually got vegetables as a base. So it's got butternut squash, um, it's got ginger, it's got carrots, lots of spices. So that's your stir fry. This in the um, little turquoise bowl, that's your Buddha bowl that we've talked about. Okay. So um, what Breeder and Chris have done, they've actually taken it out of the pack and put it into a bowl nicely for us, but it comes in, a, that's a, um, only part of a portion, so it comes in a nice big portion. Um, it's two of your five a day, yep. source of protein, low in fat, it's veggie, and it's 365 calories. And there it is there, the there Buddha bowl. There it is, okay. yep. Um, so you've got uh, black beans and, um, sorry, black beans and black rice, you've got kale again. Yeah. You've got sweet potatoes, you've got delicious mushrooms, and then um, a turmeric mm. and yogurt dressing. I nice. think that's brilliant. And this is a hot dish as well. That's a hot dish. Yeah. So you just pop that in your microwave for two seconds. Uh, for hang on, I won't do it. So the allocated amount of time three, on the back of the pack. Exactly, three minutes, 30 seconds. And then the final dish that you've got here to taste, which is one of my personal favourites, is a smoky chipotle chicken. Mm. Right. Do we need to debate how we pronounce chipotle? No, I think we're all on chipotle. Okay, yeah. Great. Yeah. That's got sweet potatoes, brown rice, black beans and chickpeas. And it's got just a really lovely level of spice. It's not too spicy. It's very warm um, and just really rounded. And um, that, I believe, we kept the skins on the sweet potatoes. But that is one of my particular favourites. Mmm. Delicious. Really, it's got really the memo lovely. about the skins. I like it. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That's really stuck in my mind now, Rupee. Yeah. Rupee, you didn't get any. So sorry about that. <laughs> no, I didn't get the. I didn't get any of this stuff. You know. Oh, oh Rupee, you should try this. This is so <laughs> nice. I think what you have got actually, there's a couple of other bits that I would love mm. you to taste. Um, you've got these uh, raspberry and almond butter bars, um, oh, yeah. which are just pressed fruit so it's dates raspberries um, and almond butter they are absolutely delicious source of fiber gluten-free vegan and they are eat well and if you've got a savory tooth you must must try i think rupee you've got mm. some of our pop chips there um, so we've got these pea and lentil pop chips um, which are a source of fiber source of protein they're only 100 calories per portion, high in vitamin D, gluten-free and vegan, and absolutely delicious, like all Eat Well products. So just a few little samples for you to taste. What do you think of the... I think my favourite so far was the chicken... Chipotle chicken. Chipotle chicken, that's yep. delicious. Good. Um, the Buddha bowl is lovely as well, and I would probably mix it all together yep. and then just eat it. And then this is just the dressed vegetables. I think we were supposed to have some prawns. I don't know what Chris and Breed did with those. Oh. But. I think the butter bowl's fantastic. <laughs> the, the mushrooms in there, 
So good, but I'm with you. I, I'd give that a nice stir together, and it yeah. feels really substantial yeah. when you're eating it. It doesn't feel like a light snack. That's a, that's a proper meal. That is really and, really and good. Do you know? Great lunchtime as well. Yeah. A great sort of a lunchtime meal that you would, you know, just grab yeah. at lunchtime because yeah. it's easy to get in and easy to have it, which is nice. Mm. Mm. And just something totally different, you know? Mm. Lovely, Sorry, I'll leave me. that exciting news to you. Thank you. Right. We're almost out of time. Uh, thank you to everybody that has entered the competition. We have the winner. The winner who says, and I quote, the Buddha bowl gives a healthy balanced meal in one with balanced carbs and two of my five a day. Yeah. She two. already, she was telling us that. April invented it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Congratulations, <laughs> Corinne from Essex. Round of applause for Corinne. Well done, Corinne. Corinne, you have got 250 pounds to spend at m and which is awesome, absolutely awesome. Uh, spend it wisely, enjoy what you buy, and if you buy a pair of underwear, hope it fits well. Um, but honestly, spend most or a lot of bowls. I was going to say, spend most of it on food. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or you could buy a shirt for Doctor Rupee because he didn't get the memo about a blue yeah, polo, yeah. polo T-shirt and he hasn't got one. So looks a little bit. Think about how many polo T-shirts you could buy. Yeah, yeah I know. Could, wow. <laughs> exactly. And actually, and actually, if you get on your Sparks thing, yeah. they might be discount on the polo shirts yeah. as well. Hang on, let me check my Sparks today. <laughs> let me have a quick look. It was lingerie, wasn't it, Andy? For you? Yeah, I get. A, I seem to get a lot of lingerie. <laughs> Let me just see <laughs> on my spot. Oh, I've got 12 new Sparks offers. Amazing. And the first one is 20% off women's nightwear. Hey. hey. Yeah, but not for me, is it? Yeah. No, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm telling you. Let me share that with you now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're over You don't have to share with us, Andy. Oh, no, exactly. Oh, I've got dining. Oh, look at this. I've got an avocado. Have you got an avocado? Yeah, I never get good. avocados yeah. on mine. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So at five pounds off when I spend 50 quid? I think it tracks what you've been shopping, doesn't it? Leave I it. think it right. does. Can we I just wrap this up now, please? <laughs> Can we wrap this look? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you've been inspired uh, by some of the things we've shown you today. The message, of course, is, you know, if you yeah. are trying to start off this year in a more healthy mindset, the Eat Well logo, as April showed, will show you lots of things. And as we say, it's been approved by Marks and Spencer according to the government guidelines. Exactly, so, their healthy guidelines. The, to their healthy guidelines, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so look out for those in store. Remember that there will be more Sparks Lives events all this year. And in fact, as Chris said, he's going to be alive uh, next... Next Friday. Next Friday, what time? Six o'clock. Next and Friday, six o'clock. Doing a Feed Your Family for £12 recipe. Okay. And we're going to share all the details via um, the usual the interweb the interweb via the interweb, via the interweb. Uh, let's just say thank you very much to dr rupee for joining us dr Ruby, really lovely to hear your thoughts on healthy eating and um, just eat the rainbow oh, basically yeah. eat yeah. lots of color eat the rainbow thank you absolutely very much. color fiber mostly plants color fiber mostly, mostly plants, plants. Ah. Loved him. He's also April. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Lovely to see you. And most of all, thank you very much for watching. Remember, as I just did on my Sparks app, keep an eye on your Sparks app. You'll find out lots about what's going on at Marks and Spencer and when our next Sparks live event will be. Have a fantastic day, evening, depending on when you're watching. <laughs>